Okay, in this brief video, I would like to focus your attention on group project and remind you what kind of files and how you should prepare them uh, in order to upload that onto Canvas and successfully finish your group project. What do you need to upload? Dataset, syntax, output and report. Of course, a lot of files. But now I'd like to focus on what you have to do step by step. What do you need to prepare in the first place? What do you need to prepare for Wednesday? Okay, let's first of all see what you need to prepare for Wednesday. What should be in a data set? Names of the variables, uh, make sure that those names are meaningful, rename uh, those variables if it's necessary, clean the data set, delete and finish cases, recode if it's necessary. So for instance, if you have uh, used self-control scale, then some of the items need to be reversed. That's the procedure of recoding. And compute total scores. For instance, if you use self-control scale, then for each participant calculate the total score, remembering that some of the items need to be reversed. Also, when working on uh, your analysis, recording and so on, remember to save everything as a syntax file, SPS file. Include all calculations made in SPSS, including uh, recording. Also remember to save output files, but only include those analyses that were uh, presented in the report. Compress dataset, syntax file, output into one zip file and upload onto Canvas as a separate assignment. Report also need to be uploaded, but as a separate assignment, it's important for plagiarism check. If you want, you can copy and paste SPSS output as an appendix. It's not mandatory though. Now, let's see what kind of analysis you need to perform in SPSS. On Wednesday workgroup, we are going to show you step by step those analyses, but I find it important for you to to know what you can expect from the Wednesday workgroup. There are a number of obligatory analyses that you need to perform. First of all, you need to perform factor analysis. We'll show you how to do that. Before the class, you can see a tutorial that is on Canvas. There is a link that you can follow and watch a YouTube video. This YouTube video will instruct you how you can perform factor analysis and how to interpret separate coefficients. The next step after factor analysis is reliability analysis and analysis of items. Again, there's a tutorial on Canvas. See the tutorial to learn more about reliability and item analysis. Next analysis that you need to perform is correlation analysis. So we need to calculate correlations, include M and standard deviation, and then apply MTMM matrix approach. Remember to present correlations values without and with correction for attenuations. It means that you need to also apply the formula to correct for attenuation. Consonance, you need to calculate consonance, so the RWG coefficient, and also apply ICC analysis. So uh, you need to check whether there are differences between levels of your organization variable. Use this uh, approach where eta square, as we can calculate in the uh, ANOVA module, indicates differences between the levels. If eta square would be higher than 0.10, it's basically very important to analyze correlations within the levels. We'll explain you how to do that and how to interpret the values. So learn how to do those elements factor analysis, reliability analysis, and item analysis, 
how to calculate correlations, how to calculate consonants, and how to cal calculate ICC in SPSS. You will need that to better understand what will happen in the workgroup on Wednesday. Okay, thank you for your attention.